Hey everybody, welcome back to Hell Revealed. This is Pinkies. Uh, this is map 29, Temple of Fear. And, uh, is that Chainsaw? I see. Well, oh shit! Um, <laughs> alright, well let's make use of it, I guess. I know, not something you normally hear me say, but you know what? It's, uh, better than nothing? <laughs> yeah, they're biting through it like crazy. Well, the one was just me getting flanked, but... That whole moment, like, if you want to see one of the reasons why I don't think that the chainsaw is a particularly great weapon, rewind to when I was chainsawing that one demon, and, uh... He was able to bite me right through it. Now, I'm not saying that the chainsaw should be able to just stunlock everything. But for enemies like this, yeah, yeah, I think it should. Any low tier, basically... Well, anything below the Baron, I think it should be an automatic stun. So, yeah. That's just, that's just my thoughts. My thoughts and opinions. Maybe not the Hell Knight, because they're kind of... I mean, they're kind of mini Barons. And putting an exception for those would have been maybe a little silly. Alright, so we're back to Hell Revealed, I see. At least they have a super shotgun for the Barons instead of a regular shotgun. So, I can't complain too much. That was an energetic opening, though. I kind of like that. It's <laughs> just... Oh, look, a harmless pit of pinkies. Lol. I'm glad that... Uh, th I mean, that was good pacing, though. I do like... It's like, here's the chainsaw. Here's you getting s flanked and swarmed. Here's a super shotgun. Just kind of a nice order of operations, I think. Uh, I was hoping that last shot would take him out. It didn't. Obviously. Yeah, why not? We'll grab you. And you. And blast you. Phenomenal. Oops. <laughs> I don't know why I put it in the second slot. Lol. Uh, this doesn't look trustworthy. Oh, turns out you can actually shoot through that wall. Oh, shoot. Turns out there's an arch vial there. Uh, can we isolate the vial? You fucker. Stop that. Nice red screen gaming. Is that a second? Yeah, there's two arch files. Yeah. It's gonna be another one of those maps, isn't it? Okay, well, one's down. So, uh, just a quick reminder we have the super shotgun, and that's it. I mean, I guess we have that chainsaw. <laughs> I sawed the demons. Uh. Is the yep still alive? Still alive, dude. I cannot get a single solid hit on that guy. There we go. <laughs> All right, so now let's get the barons to in fight with these dudes. I'm starting to see the point of the barons now. Well, one of them died. <laughs> All right, you come out here. Oh, wait. Now that works, too. There we go. Sweet. Good job, buddy. Good job. I appreciate you. You're, you're a good Baron. You know, just it's all about making the demons work for you. That's what it's all about. You know, until they just start being a little uncooperative, which is kind of where we are right now. Oh, you son of a... It's like the timing is just completely off. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, piss off. There we go. Finally. Alright, let me just grab you. Oh, shit. Well, at least there wasn't another arch file, I guess. Uh, looks like they took out the Baron. That's unfortunate. I'm starting to like that guy. So pro tip, if you're playing this map, leave the barons alive and then rush the blue key. You'll probably have a better time. And have less of a chance of running out of ammo because, well... You know, reasons. And yeah, it's like one of those cases where I would have loved to use the chainsaw. I mean, the idea of using a chainsaw is pretty badass. However, the problem is that, uh, with those revenants, if they punch me through a chainsaw, that's up to 64 damage. So, um... 
Yeah. All right. So we have four shots in this, a chainsaw, and a pistol with 50 bullets. Not a great... Well, at least we have a chain, or a chain gun here. Wow. Okay, that's cool. I only would not grab the chain gun. Die, 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 die. Everyone is dead. <laughs> Except me. Is that a hint? I don't think so. Alright. Well, there's one place left to go. At least we have some chain gun. <laughs> At least we have some chain gun. And uh, shotgun ammo. What are you doing? So for pathfinding, we just decided to run th past the player. I mean, if I saw a Doom guy, it's probably what I would do. I'd just run right for the door. Let's see if I live to regret this. Okay, good. I mean, the chances of them biting through it are not that high, but when you're talking about enemies that could instantly knock 40 health off, that's, uh... It's risky. Hmm. Oh, that was... Almost looked like a no-clipper. I went through the one wall, not the other one. I really wish I had a rocket launcher. They gave me rockets, but... Great. Barons. <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of the most redundant things I've ever said when it comes to Hell Revealed. Oh, look! There's Barons! That's way too many barons. I don't think I have the ammo for this. Um, is there a hidden rocket launcher I missed? I don't know. Ah, jeez. Okay. But what about that one pillar at the beginning? It's it has two sided line defs around it for some reason. No, that's why. Because it's a scrolly texture. Excellent. Alright, so... I only have 30 shells. What, what do you want me to do? Um... It's just the monster closet that I could see into for some reason. Um... Am I just gonna have to run past the barons? And hope for the best? I think that might be the play. I don't see any other way to do it. I can't lure them out, so... I, I, they're just bunched up over there. There's, oh, whatever. Fuck you. Okay, so I want to go for those two on the left side. That's li this is literally a heads I win, tails you lose scenario. Like, God, what a load of pants. Anyway, yeah, sure, I'll take that. So this is uh, how to use barons poorly. Because, <laughs> I mean, they don't pose any sort of immediate threat. If you know where to go, you could just funnel them harmlessly. I just don't... How reveal just goes back and forth. Like, how is map 28 so unbelievably fun, and yet it still had a challenge, like a level of challenge to it? And then this one's just dreadful so far. I mean, the opening room was okay, but dreadful's overstating it, obviously, being a little dramatic. But, um, like, the opening room in this one was just alright. Oh, cool. You can just... Oh, shoot, there's an arch file back there. Yeah, and again, where's the damn rocket launcher? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, good thing I didn't go down this path. It kind of looked like they were all connected, but... Nope. Oh, look. A Baron. Yeah, this is where you get back into the whole tedium aspect of Hell Revealed. It just... just why? I mean... Now just playing keep away. Thank goodness. That arch file seemed hell-bent on resurrecting that Baron, but thankfully he got distracted, so, um, it's all good. 
Now, what about this? I'm just gonna lure them over here. Honestly, with a fight this easy, I wouldn't want to waste plasma on them anyway. And that's the problem. Like, this stuff... Yeah, Baron of 1,000 HP, sure, but... If you have room to dodge, and basically infinite mobility, they're some of the easiest enemies in the game. And I stand by that. I mean, look at that. <sighs> okay, anyway. <laughs> There's just so many better options. I mean, you know, it, L Revenants kind of get a bad rap just because... Oh, well, what's that then? Anyway, Revenants kind of get a bad rap. Oh, what? The fuck? Yeah, turn the lights off. That's great. Okay. Well, at least it's... At least this room isn't anemic. I'll give it that. Even if the challenge doesn't necessarily come from the best place... Oh, get out of my way! God, I... I don't like this room for a lot of reasons, <laughs> but we got through it, kinda. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm glad I picked up the shotgun, the regular shotgun. I cannot kill that, there we go. Yeah, I don't, I tend to not like rooms where you could just, like right there, I'm wasting resources because I can't see them. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could see them when I, pick them up, or when I'm about to. I mean, I don't mind the whole darkness thing, but... Yeah, I don't know. It just... I guess it, it's kind of offset by the fact that there's so many resources. Alright, there we go. <sighs> that was... I wish I would have known about that. Anyway... <laughs> Man, still no rocket launcher. So yeah, this room was kind of demonic, not gonna lie. <laughs> I actually didn't even really register if this pillar was even here. Wow, okay. That was a tough fight. Um, yeah, pretty much just for that reason. It just kind of sets you into a panic. Now, obviously that would have went better if I would have targeted the arch file. But I had no idea what the room looked like, so that made things a little bit tricky. Should have probably leaned a little more heavily on the plasma at the opening part of it as well. Oh, I see. Still no rocket launcher. Hopefully I get it in here. I do think that... I'm trying to figure out what that point of that room was, though. I mean, I guess to get a Megasphere? Wasn't exactly a secret room, so I guess it's one of those things if you survive the fight, you know, whatever you're left with. For me, it was kind of a wash, but, you know, whatever. There's also plenty of shells in there, so. There's another one of those cases where I think Revenants would have been better. And, like, I, I don't know if I got to complete my thought, but... You know, it's like Revenants seem kind of... I mean, they're a bit of a meme these days, but... There's a reason why map designers like to use them so much. It's because for encounters like that, where you're depending on enemies... Like, there's not that many enemies that can just effectively bum-rush the player. You figure there's Revenants, Archviles, and Pinkies. That's basically the extent of it. And Lost Souls, but that's more of like a RNG-based rush mechanic. So, yeah. If you need something to get into the player's... Like, right into the player's personal space really fast... You don't really have a better option. That's the other thing that kind of kills me about how revealed, like, this is not a trap that should really be in a late episode part of the game. Wait on that one. Because, I mean, I can't think of any situation where. Oh, that was bogus. 
Maybe if the fire drawing behavior actually worked in Vanilla Doom, that wouldn't be a problem. But, um... There we go. Alright, so I still don't have a rocket launcher. But, yeah. Kind of an, an, an anemic trap with an asterisk. If the game doesn't draw the fire effect, and you can't see it, and you end up getting accidentally zapped, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So, is it really just going to make me rush into that room with a super shotgun? Because that seems dickish, even by Hell Revealed standards. Oh, good thing I went back here for those. Huh. Okay, um, I haven't found any secrets. This is what I'm kind of looking for right now. Or just, um, anything obvious that might give me an edge in that upcoming fight. I mean, I guess those pillars will protect me against the arch file, but it's still not a very pleasant... Oh, wait. There we are. That's the play. Yeah, just keep doing that. I do wish I had more bullets, but I should be able to snipe maybe one of them down. Especially... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> The no clipping is intensifying. These guys are... Wow. These guys are cheating more and more with every passing second. Not the one that hit me. That was just bad timing. <laughs> Alright. Archie, Archie McVile is down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I saw another no clipper. Oh my god. Stop it! Yeah, that that was that was not successful. Oh, this is this is scary. <laughs> this is just downright scary. And I get their demons; they're supposed to be scary, but oh. <sighs> I'm more scared of past Yonatan Donner and Hage Niv. I gotta say, that one dodge they did not long ago is probably the most instinctual dodge I've done in Doom. In Oh, fuck you. Fuck you and your max damage roll. But yeah, that was probably the most instinctual dodge I've done in, like, a long time. <sighs> okay, that was annoying. Um, especially with the weapons that I have access to right now. Um. Okay, good. I'm glad that the stuns were consistent. That would have been bad if they weren't. Okay, good. Thank you for the armor, appreciate it. That would have been nice like a room ago. You know, if you know that that's there, it's one of those situations where you could very easily run through the mank room and then just come directly over here. So what does this do? What does this button do? It doesn't open that. Let's do something in here. <laughs> I don't know. Just... It's like... Very weird arch file usage. Like, that doesn't make any... What? <laughs> that... I... Huh? <laughs> I don't get that. That was just... Actually... Really... Bad? Uh, hmm. Whatever. Whatever. Still no rocket launcher. Just... Okay. Had to try it. So what did that switch do? Did that open? No, it didn't open this. I don't know if anything actually opens that. What in the world did that do? Hmm. Well, I know there's another shell box in here. I might as well just grab that before I forget about it entirely. There we go. There's another thing in that room is they do double up the shell boxes. So it, uh... That's a, that's a key door. I don't want to waste too many shells. <laughs> don't want to run into one of those situations. 
Yeah, this is, um... This has pretty much, like, the general... Like, I, I'm not missing anything, right? Like, that switch just seemed to open up a monster closet, and that was it. Did anything over here open? No? Um, so I hit that switch, it opened up this imp closet. I also hit this switch, which... Who knows what that did? Um... Do those torches have anything to do with it? I don't know. Wait, do these even block... These don't block project... That explains a lot, actually. So this wouldn't have blocked the Archviles line of sight. What, what the hell? <laughs> Seriously? Uh... Okay. So, hold on, what, what did... Is it... no, it wouldn't be that, would it? I think that's just decoration, decorative, yeah. A decorative decoration for decorative people who like to decorate. I don't know. Okay, never mind, there's like a lot of shells here. So this... what? I am legitimately puzzled. So hit those switches. I don't have a red key. Did... I had to have missed the red key somewhere. Let, let's just comb through this again real quick and just... make sure there's something that I just didn't pick up. Or that might be hidden by a corpse? I, I don't... I really don't know. Make sure nothing's behind these, I guess. Because you never know. I mean, this is Hell Revealed. It had some very odd design decisions all throughout. <laughs> no. Not so much. <laughs> Just had to try it, you know. Already checked all these, including that. You never know. This, um... I think this is a red door over here as well. Yep. No, no key on that platform. Okay. Well then. That would have made the bank room a lot easier. So I guess I'm glad I started wall humping? <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, this room, nothing new in here. And there's nothing in here. So... It kind of seems like the entire area inside the blue key door is just sort of... Oh, what? I'm sure. Why, why not? <laughs> so there's no key up here on the altar, either. Of course, that was before the blue key door. That would have been a little silly. I don't... What? Where else can I even... What?! What kind of crap was that?! Oh my god. This has like, all the playability of a D-zoned map. Why- why would you... Sure, yeah, that- that's... very intuitive. Was there even, like, the even the slightest hint that this area would open up? That mank is just... Well, gee, thanks. There you go. Yeah, look, look at the texture up there. There is absolutely... I don't know, maybe that's slightly mis... Hold on, we, we gotta... For science, restart. It's just slightly misaligned. That's the only hint that this would ever open up. Ooh, what a load. What a load. How? Oh, what a world, what a world. Eh. Strain. Who's gonna win? The mank! Mank kebab. So there we go. Ugh. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> so I... You know, I was kind of wondering, the end of map 28, if... 
this map would uh, dethrone map 28 as my favorite. Nah, <laughs> definitely not, if that wasn't obvious. This is just, again, I mean, it's very mid at, at best. But then they pull that shit, which is just... Ugh. That's the most asinine bit of map design I think Hell Revealed's had so far. And that's... saying something. I mean, at least this map gives you, like, gives you weapons, so... I don't think... I think for that reason alone it's not my least favorite, but that was bad. <laughs> that's like one of those... is that... Why is that monster blocking? That makes these barons even less of a threat. I... Ah. Okay. Alright, whatever. We're almost done. We're so freaking close to done. Let's just... Wait. That looks item bumpable. I don't know if you necessarily have to, but I want to. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might be far enough in. So I'm pretty sure the mystical art of item bumping has been... was already discovered by this point. Okay. So I hit that switch. Now it opened. What random thing opened in this map? Of course, a room with barons. <sighs> Not gonna use rockets, because I'm worried that I might need them for something else. Jeez. That's like, I mean, the plasma is a good example, too. Like, I wouldn't mind using that, but I've only got 20 shots left after that one wild and crazy room, so. And honestly, most of the things that really would probably, you'd probably want plasma for, like the reasons that I would be saving them, are in situations like that, where it's just, very bad arch file use. Okay, red key acquired. Now this connects to this room. Well, interconnectivity. I guess points for that. Sure, we'll go with that. And then this is probably a oh, nice pentagram. Yep. <laughs> Had a feeling. So, um... Yeah, there we go. There's more. There's more cyber demons. Yeah. Um, and this is the, uh, the weaponry you have to deal with. I think that's it for cyber demons, at least. So, um... Might as well unload my rockets first, I guess, and then the cells, the few that I have. I'm not sure what's in the other secret. But I wonder if that would have made things easier. I mean, these guys are immune to splash damage, but... You know, why not? I think the rockets, like, even with, with that in mind, do about as much damage as the uh, SSG, roughly. So... But, no, it's like 20 to 160, so it's not insignificant. It's not great. Then there's like an additional 128 for splash damage, depending on how close it explodes to the target. It's rarely ever going to get all of that, but... And in, <laughs> in case of the Cyber Demons, you get none of that. But it's something. One down. There's still two enemies after this. Okay. There we go. That was a pretty lame fight, I gotta say. IDDST, what is that? Alright, well, we do have the uh, computer area map. Already covered that one. No sense recovering it. So, is the side room here what leads to that? Oh, you little... Good. <laughs> he was infighting for a few horrible seconds. 
Okay, so the secret is, uh... It would have been nice at the time. Not super essential, though. So now, what about that other room down there? Right there. <laughs> I don't know. I guess since I have the rad suit, I might as well... Alright, let's use the real map. What is that? Okay, whatever. Let's just go back in there, I suppose. And then go through what appears to be a massive sewer network. What? Serious? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. There's literally just nothing. I mean... Holy shit, and if you fall in here, it's... Hmm, serenity now, serenity now, all that for a secret that's really not that great. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a basically a megasphere more or less, but that is, I'm just, I'm literally just shaking my head right now. <laughs> what, what the hell is that? I mean, you're, you stand to lose so much if you end up going down the wrong path and falling into one of the basically invisible pits. Oh, uh, that was... Uh. Temple of Fear. Mediocre. I don't know. I can't even really point to anything that this does that's particularly good, to be honest. Like, I guess the pentagram outside was kind of cool. But it's been done before, so... <laughs> Yeah, I I was not wild about this one. Like in terms of even mid uh, hell revealed maps, I'd probably put it at the lower end of mid, if that. I I don't know. It's definitely not going on my uh, my short list. That's for sure. But uh, massive shrug, I suppose. But uh, that's all for th this one. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything really to say, anything to really add about it because it's just. Even as a penultimate map, like, it doesn't have, like, like the level of bombast that something like Postmortem would. Uh, like, Postmortem, I think, would be a fantastic penultimate map. This just feels like kind of a either early episode 3 or late episode 2 reject. It just doesn't... I don't think it's a very good one. <laughs> That's what I'm, trying to get to, what I'm trying to get to. But, you know, what you gonna do, I guess. This is how revealed. There's a lot of ups and downs. But that's all for now. Uh, one more map to go, and it's an Icon of Sin fight, so... Alright, here it is, map 30. Oh, this map is bad. So I already uh, did a recording of this, and... Um, yeah, I just didn't have the patience to put up with it at the time, so... Uh, I'm gonna give it another attempt. This is a this is probably one of the worst Icon of Sin maps I think I've played, though. So, um... I'm not expecting a whole lot, and nor should you. It's pretty bad. So, um, I think even on Decino's playthrough, he, um, <laughs> this is probably one of the more salty moments from his early videos, but yeah, he just called it pure RNG. And it really is. Four spawn cubes at a time, an arena that's already kind of filled up with a whole bunch of crap. So, um, yeah, it, it's not good, but we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, maybe save scum through it? Yeah. Yeah. So, we've got, so, yeah. So case in point, we have this arch file, which for some reason really doesn't like to die. Uh, got you, you, and I don't even know what the hell that was, but we're gonna try that again. I know at least some of it was Revenant Missiles, because, you know, there's a whole bunch of those, for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, there's also a Cyber Demon down there. And, um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Cyber Demon's all, apparently... Oh, cool, yeah. Those teleports are also really easy to jump into by mistake, which is just phenomenal. I'm not trying to get 100% kills here either, so... Because, yeah, screw it. It's, this is going to be an annoying enough. Plus, you also have limited cells, which uh, 
just really just adds to the pleasure. All right. Oh, there's also a uh, cube spawner right at that um, beginning section. Oh, I got my first got one hit in. <laughs> oh, look, <laughs> they'll respawn an arch file and a pain elemental. I don't know what that caca demon was doing, but he was like... There's one quick tomato, that's for sure. Yeah, this is... this is bad. Also... Oh my god, there's... How many pain elementals did this thing throw out? Oh, there's also no, um... There's also no, um... Uh, monster blocking line def anywhere near the lift that heads up. So that's that also makes this an absolute joy because they can get really close. And um, did I see another arch file? Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> there's there's another arch. <sighs> Boy, this is why I don't single segment bullshit maps. All right, well we're out of cells. Completely. Because they, uh... What? Oh, another... Another arch file. Yeah, it, it pretty much became unplayable really quickly. This map sucks. Like, I don't like to be that harsh, but... It, it really does. This is awful. I, I absolutely see no joy in this. And this is after I calmed down from my first run, mind you. I just think this one is completely irredeemable. Yeah, I'm completely stuck. No, nope, we're uh, gonna go ahead and do that. That cyber demon's probably gonna. Yeah. <sighs> Unbelievable. Come on. Just. I, I can't even move properly. Like, there's just enemies all around me. I think that that one went in. Okay. Yeah, you are completely at the mercy of just the Icon of Sin spawner. Now, I have played good Icon of Sin maps, like um, the one from TNT Revolution, for instance. That one was phenomenal. I think I'm remembering... I think I'm remembering the right one. Uh, but, yeah. This one, this one could just, it could just stay in hell where it belongs. Oh, there's some, there's so much shit around. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care that I'm blatantly cheating. This is just, the sooner this is over, the sooner I'm done with hell revealed. There we go. Phenomenal. Okay, that was that was map 30, hell revealed. Uh, yeah, uh, I have no intention of playing that legitimately. None whatsoever. Uh, I have no desire to be that good at this game. Okay, no, it's more like I don't have... I think I could do it, I just have zero desire to put that many attempts into it. I have no respect for this map because it has no respect for anyone playing it. So screw it. I don't know. It, th this is, strangely enough, a lot less uh, salty than my original attempt for this, so <laughs> here we go. It actually was a lot smoother, too. Just, well, okay, mostly because I was safe scumming more in this one. See, I was, I was actually trying to do it single segment. Yeah, that, that's not a good idea for this map. Just, just save scum it. It's not worth it. But, uh, that's how revealed done. You know, in a matter of speaking. <laughs> so, uh can move on to better and brighter things. So, um, we are going to be continuing Poogers. That one did kind of get a little bit of break time due to things, well, just me being busy, more or less. And that's a very time-consuming series. But, um, I can say what I will be doing, because I do feel like taking a little bit of a break. Uh, next project is going to be uh, Legacy of Rust. I have been wanting to play that, so um, we're going to be doing that on the Monday through, or Monday and Friday, Monday through Friday, 
Monday and Friday slot. It doesn't seem like it's going to take too long to get through that one. And then when Pookers wraps up, we'll have a member vote for uh, the weekend slots. Or I don't know, depending on how quickly I finish up Legacy, you know. Might be those ones too. Who knows? We'll see. I have no idea. Shrug. But, uh, yeah, that's been Hell Revealed. I'm, uh... I don't know. I'd, I'd be lying if I said I regret playing it again, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Thankfully, you know, Top Hell is near the end, so I guess I can't complain too much. But that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.